I wonder if I could just see his face. I'll know who God is. As I got within a few feet of his presence, I began to place my face into the light. As my, and it didn't hurt your eyes. It was like you could look into it. As I placed my face closer in towards his face, hoping I'd break through that veil, as my face did, he suddenly moved. I saw an opening in a circular shape like a window into eternity or a door into eternity. As I looked through this, I could see an entire new earth open up before me. It was like I was standing on the threshold of eternity and I was getting a glimpse into it. As I'm looking, I can see grass with the same light and life emanating forth from it. I can see flowers, fields. I knew if I stepped on the grass, it would not damage it. The colour in the energy and the life emanating from it. I, it was amazing. I see a, ri a river, a crystal clear stream, trees along its banks, rolling hills to the left. I look out to my right, mountains in the distance, blue, blue sky, crystal clear. I'm standing there and I'm going, this is paradise. As I'm looking, I know that I belong here. It's like I knew I had been created by God to live here. I thought, why wasn't I born here in the first place? Why was I born on this earth? I knew I'd come home. I knew I'd travel the world looking for that paradise. And here it was in front of me. I thought, I'm home. I'm home. As I started to move in, his presence came right back in front of me and blocked the way. He asked me this question, he said, Ian, now that you've seen, do you wish to go in or do you wish to return? God, I'm not married. I've got no children. There's nothing for me to return back for. I don't want to go back. As I look back, to my amazement, God showed me one person that had loved me. The moment I saw my mother directly behind me, I wept. I thought, I've just not only lied to God, but there is someone who loved me. And I thought, if I'm dead, and this is actually happening, and then I step through into paradise, into the presence of God. Will my dear mother have any idea that her heathenistic son prayed in that ambulance, repented of his sins, gave his life over to God, and God heard this young man and caught him up into paradise? I thought my mother will think her son went to hell. I thought she'd get a, a telegram or a telex saying your son died last night. Would you like him ship time in a box or a jar of ashes? I thought if that happens, it could destroy her. She's suffered so much, she's lost her family. And I thought, near I, her, how selfish would it be for me to step through and leave my mother to bury me and think I went to hell? I want to go back. I was instantaneously back in my physical form in a hospital with the doctor that had been working on me holding my right foot in the air with a sharp instrument like a scalpel or a knife prodding the base of my foot. I could feel nothing, prodding it like a dead piece of meat. I hear the voice of God interrupt my thought and he said this, son. I have just given your life back. I went, what? I said, I've just seen God. What's happening here? I felt an amazing power go through me. It was like a, a low voltage of electricity. I felt my entire body starting to feel again. And within a few hours, I was completely healed.
I said, God, what have I become? He said, you're a reborn Christian. He said, you only came in because your sins have been forgiven and the blood of Jesus covered you. The sacrifice, the atonement of Christ Jesus had covered your sins. You walked into his presence as if you were white as snow. I said, he stepped aside. He said, 2 Peter chapter 3, 10 to 18, God has created a new heaven and a new earth for those who love him. He said, this old earth will pass away. This body will pass away. But God said, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Death, where is your sting? Death is swallowed up. How? Through the power of the resurrection of Jesus. The sting of death is sin. But the free gift of God is of those who repent of their sins, their sins will be forgiven and they will step through into eternity. To live is Christ, to die is gain. <laughs> Who have I beside you, Lord? And I just went, man, he said, a new earth and a new heaven and a new Jerusalem, the city of our God, shall descend out of the new heavens onto the new earth and there'll be no more sickness, no more suffering, no more death and no more war and we shall dwell with him throughout all eternity. And there is a river of life flowing from the throne of God. And those who drink from it, it's eternal.